I'm Adam. Welcome to the Movie Preview Review, where you review movies based on only watching their previews. Today, we're going to react, review, and then riff off with a brand new trailer for this brand new movie. I don't really know what's going on in it, but I believe it's during World War II and some type of zombie sure. thing, Sure, and maybe? you guys wanted us to do it. And also, like, YouTube's been shoving this in my face for the past 36 hours. Yeah, not only have you guys been requesting in the comments, but YouTube has been like, hey, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And I'm like, I can't. I need to have a fresh eye on it. Overlord. We, Overlord. Don't know, we don't know what we're in for. No clue. So here we go. Let's party. Three months ago, I was cutting grass in my front yard. And the mailman shows up with a letter from the army. Now I'm here. No idea where I'm gonna end up. Questions don't have good answers. There's a lot of soldiers out there, and there's only four of us. Find out what's inside that cop out. Identical. <laughs> um, what was the name of uh, that game franchise? Was it uh, uh, Black Ops Zombie or World War II? Like that zombie shooter? Um, the Modern Warfare games. Modern Warfare games that have that variant multiplayer. Yeah. You can play the zomb zombies, zombies at the end during World War II. So I was like, hey, people really like this game. Hey, you know, a movie out of this. It's a good idea. <sighs> zombies during World War II? Are they zombies? We don't know. Are uh, they vampires? Uh, not sure. That one guy looked kind of looked like a vampire. Oh. Were they werewolves? Kind of, maybe? Not sure. Oh. They were doing the, like the werewolf stuff. Oh. Are they a combination of all three? Which would be a... Uh, where is umpire? A where is umpire? Or a... Vambi wolf. Vambi wolf? <laughs> Silly Nazis. Stop trying. Stop we, it. Stop it with your eugenics and your medical procedures and trying to create an undying army for a thousand years. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that looks crazy, dude. That looks crazy. Yeah. Cool. This movie. Hear me out. Oh. Because we just saw Skyscraper a couple days ago. We did? This feels to me kind of like a like a horror survival kind of thing mm -hmm. version of that. You know what I mean? Like this is gonna check all the boxes. Like this doesn't look like the best movie ever made, but like this looks like a great afternoon type of flick. Mm -hmm. Like ah, this is like a movie pass movie, like hard. You know? Like this is a good. This is gonna be a good time. It's not gonna change the game at all. 
but wow, that looks fun. Well, maybe it may change the game slightly in that uh, we've never seen a World War II based zombie film before. Are you sure? I don't believe so. Huh. I mean, obviously, there have been the game variants for the shooter games, but not a movie based on or having, or having zombies revolve around World War II. I mean, most zombie films take place in the 60s and forward. There was the Pride, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. But other than that, uh, I can't really think of any past, you know, era where zombies have taken place in. So, this, you know, could it be slightly by the numbers of, like, military guys taking on yeah, zombies? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't, I wasn't digging on it. No, no, no. I know oh, I didn't think you were. Okay. Just, like... Yes, it, you know, it, it just checks some of the boxes, but that one box that it's checking is, oh, this also takes place in World War II. Like, well, that's a new box we can check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, you're right. You're right. Oh, great. My package is here. Cool. <laughs> oh, Mailman Mike's here. Hey, everybody. The kind of guy showed up. So that's what that was. Yeah. Anyways. Who knows if this is actually going to make it in the video. No, it was a good edit. All right. Uh... Yeah, so we've never seen this before. No. Uh, but it looks really interesting. Dear trailer makers, okay. here's where this movie got me. You could put ACDC in any movie trailer, and it's gonna get me amped for that movie. Period. When the bells were chiming, I was like, that sounds awfully familiar. I firmly and 100% agree that when you put the ACDC tracks in the Iron Man trailers mm -hmm. are 100%, like, not 100%, but a significant amount of reasoning as to why those movies did so well. Well, there was ACDC songs in the first two Iron Man films and Avengers, I believe. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm uh, into it. I think you're right. I think Marvel owes ACDC a little bit of credit. Anytime. Of getting that ball rolling. As soon as a boom, ding, ding, I was like, yeah. I'm in! Woo! I love ACDC. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, I really do love it. Well, most people like it. Dude, them. I'm telling you, if you need to get amped up for anything, like if you're like, like whenever I'm like walking in an audition or something, and I, like I'm not really feeling energy, I'll just put, I'll just put the little ACDC in, in the, in the old uh, earbuds, and I get, I'm like, I'm here for it. Auditioning? Rock and roll and not finish! Like, yeah! I'm awesome. Yes, you can basically do anything when you're listening to ACDC. Get up and left inside your bedroom door. You look so good lying on your bed. <laughs> wow. Is there a singer you can't emulate? Because so far you uh, you did Jagger a couple videos ago. <laughs> I can do them all. You can do I them can all. do them all. Well, you know, we'll, we'll spread we'll, it Yeah, out. we'll get through them in time. We'll do it organically. <laughs> uh, but this looks great. I look, yeah, we should go see this one. Yeah, I want to nice see this. Nice afternoon theater. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hopefully yeah. there's more ACDC throughout. The, I mean, granted, ACDC wasn't around in World War II. Uh, who cares? But who cares? Who cares? One of the reasons why I love They transcend nice. time. They're time lords. Well, ooh. Oh. Australian ones. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you guys at home. Also, thank you YouTube for shoving this in our face. Also, thank Con Ed Carl. Uh, for checking our for checking the meter, mm -hmm. doing well, a great job. I appreciate a, a fair reading of how much electricity I've used he in this apartment. He did not want to take part in this video. We asked him. He did not. That took place in the edit. We thought it'd be fun. Thought it'd be fun to like have like a little you know Con Ed Carl segment. Mm -hmm. You know, like in Pee Wee's Playhouse with the that's, mailman. That's what I was thinking. But he had a job to do. He was like, guys, it's like I watch you guys all the time. You're my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> And, but I, I got, I got my job to do. I appreciate the offer. There are other meters I gotta read. There's other meters, you know what? It's these meters ain't gonna read themselves. And I was like, preach. And then we slapped five, and we shook hands, and we hugged, <laughs> and he went on his merry way. Overlord! <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, hit that bell! Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra! You World War II fighters? Yes, and also thank you, World War II fighters, thank for fighting you. that fight and getting rid of Nazis. For destroying those Vambi wolves. Yes. And saving the day. For at least 70 to 80 years. Uh, and how. And how. Uh, guys, other videos are popping up in front of you right now.
Check we, them out. Check them out. They're funny too. Uh, we appreciate you guys very much. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.